So what do the changes in help to buy actually mean? Well, as a home buyer, a broad brush overview is that nothing's really changed, that the help to buy equity loan is still available to you to assist you in the purchase of your new home with anything from a 5% deposit and up to a 20% equity loan from the government. So what has stopped then? Why is there confusion? Well, to explain, the label help to buy is given to a number of schemes aimed at helping people become homeowners. These schemes are the Help to Buy Equity Loan, the Help to Buy ISA and the Mortgage Guarantee Scheme. So let's go through them one by one in a little more detail. To help first-time buyers build up a deposit for their first home, the Help to Buy ISA enables you to save up to £200 a month, which the state then adds 25% on top to help. The minimum you need to save to get the bonus is £1,600 and the maximum is £3,000. These ISAs are still running and are expected to be open to new applicants until 2019, so nothing's changed here. This is the really great news, the equity loan from the government that enables you to buy your home with a 5% deposit and get up to 20% as an equity loan from the government is still running and will continue to do so until 2021. The only criteria is that it has to be for a new build home, that this will be the only property that you own and that the property in question is under £600,000. The Mortgage Guarantee Scheme is the scheme that's being ended in December 2016. It was always set to do so and it really doesn't affect the end consumer that much. It was introduced for lenders to give them a guarantee so that they could offer 95% mortgages because at the time a lot of lenders were only offering up to 75% and so this guarantee has become a little less relevant. So actually as an end consumer not a lot has changed with Help to Buy. For a more in-depth description of the Help to Buy Equity Loan and how it works, watch our video on this channel or contact us directly to find out more on 0800 304 7801.